Hey, what up, my freddies? Welcome back to another Pokemon Showdown YouTube video. I'm your host, Pineapple Fred, and to be honest, I wasn't planning on making a video today at all, or a video on this team, because I've already done it before, but I encountered some salt, and I decided, why the hell not, revive this series of Fake Stall. Uh, this is actually my second gen, um, not second gen, that makes no sense, I mean the revived um, fake stall team because the original one had Galvantula on it or Spidar and some of you were like oh that's not a stall Pokemon I completely agree but Spidar is just great so we replaced it with another classic staple of the channel you can see here and we start with the illegal Beyblade here we're gonna get some rocks up unfortunately they do have a defogger and Diancy Ooh, nice um, mystical fire probably can't kill me I hope so iron head protect all right um, you know what, let's go for, no, I was gonna say let's go for a stealth rock, but it's ballsy as shit and it could, they could just stay in. Um, where are we on the ladder right now? Uh, okay, we are still really goddamn low. Heat wave is imminent, so we go to the trying times, the blissey. Um, I don't think I will be doing too, too many battles, maybe just one or two, um, because I'm really busy today. I gotta study for finals, I got reports due, I got labs coming up, I got so much shit to do as a scientist. Um, but yeah, gotta make time for you guys, my, my freddies, you know. Uh, Diancy Mega comes back in. Please do something sneaky here, try attack. Ooh, that is nice. Perfect. All right. And we go back to the illegal Beyblade because why the hell not? Did we hit him with the GLHF? But sorry. Oops. Um, hopefully the audio is sounding pretty good. I got, my, I got my microphone in a different position than usual. And my computer is actually directly in front of me again, just testing some things out. Um... Let's go for the Iron Head. There's really no reason not to. Superior. Great. Hidden Power Fire on Superior is what I would run. So let's go to the Trying Times again. There is really no reason not to. This thing takes the hit. And, um... Wow, that is pathetic. With a crit, it did 15%. God damn, thank you, Trying Times. Let's go for an Ice Beam and hope for that uh, sweet, sweet freeze. Ooh, okay. I mean, I don't mind them going for the sub. They just took a big damage, big chunk of damage anyway. So we chillin', guys. Um, how are you guys doing today? You know, uh, it's a Thursday for me at the moment of this, at the time of this recording. They forfeited. We'll take it. Uh, as you can see, I, I'm feeling pretty good today. So uh, I'm gonna quickly cut and go into the next battle. All right, and we're back for the second battle. Um, first battle was really short. There's only nine turns and the recording was two minutes. So we might actually be able to sneak in three commentaries. And I forgot to say in the beginning that if you were here just for the salt, you could skip to the timestamp. But obviously, if you got to this point, you saw the, the, the heading or the warning on screen. So, hey, appreciate it, bud. Doing a live commentary now. Uh, GLHF, bud. It's nice being able to type properly. So let's go to the illegal Beyblade. Uh, Zapdos comes in. Let's go for the Stealth Rocks. And I did the, give this thing a Custap Berry because I thought it'd be pretty funny. So, very, very smart play on their mo on their part. Let's go for the Explosion and just get them out of here. Nope, never mind. Um, I was I was honestly expecting them to bulk up, but like there was really no reason not to. Like, just go for the close combat, but, but, but that's because I had the Runariga, so I thought, you know. Never mind, I'm being an idiot again. Okay, um, what do we do here? What do we do? What do we do? Uh... Guess we can go for the Runarigas, the oof. Um, I did do a video on Trick Room Runarigas with weakness policy. It's super underrated and it's actually really crazy. So definitely go check out that video and try this out for yourself because it's a dangerous combination. Uh, let's go for a rock slide. Maybe we can land a flinch. The reason why I went for the rock slide, <laughs> for the flinch and also because it could be sashed. So we go for the Poltergeist here. I don't think it'll kill. I'm going to guess 40... 42, 420%, 42%. Um, let's do this. 58. I will take it. Ooh, nice. Uh, that There's our weakness policy, and hopefully they don't have Ice Shard. Unfortunately, they do, but you know what? It is what it is, and since this person is a fan, I'm assuming they know what the Uxi does, so I want to definitely save this for the Shuckle, because this is a bitch. And I think it's a good time to go to the Michael Keaton here. I can land a nasty plot and please be a physical attacker. Shit. Well, that's not great. Inf infestation? Will that, is that a physical hit? Will that make contact? Oh, that, that works too. Wait, did it trigger my, what the fuck? Wait, why? Huh? What the, what the, sh I can't, sp I just, I can't spell. Oh my God, final gambit. Oh, it's... What the f... Why is this special? It clearly made contact with me, but okay. Um, 
We go into the Blissey, and Mega Gardevoir comes in. Hyper Voice, 16%. Okay. Try Attack. I probably shouldn't go for the Try Attack because they have the Decidueye. But what are the odds they're going to go to that? Quite high, actually. So maybe we go for a. See, I'm torn between Ice Beam and Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt because it, 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 it just good against these two. So maybe we go for the Ice Beam, actually. Yeah, because we could maybe even potentially land a Freeze with the Ice Beam, giving us more turns. Oh, all right. They didn't know we we're doing Fake Stall, and that is why we do this. Um, ice Beam again. Wait, if they see the Ice Beam, right, who are they going to be prompted to switch into? They see the Ice Beam, they could go into the Gyarados. I'm going to go for the Thunderbolt. Oh, okay. Okay, there we go. Um... Not that great. We're gonna go for try attack then. <laughs> I guess we'll just rev oh, for fuck's sakes. Ah, oh, that was so dumb. That was so so stupid. Um, I guess we go to the Uxie here. Sword stance, perfect. And then we trick. No, 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 no. We do not trick. We do not trick here. Wait. Yes, yes, we do trick. We do trick here. Okay, we chilling. We're chilling. We're chilling. We're chilling. We're chilling. Wait, no, that was really stupid. Shit. 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 Uh-oh. Can I live? You wanna live? You wanna live one? Buddy? Michael Keats. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um, I do think we're gonna die, though. Close combat is in range to kill, but you know what? Something sneaky could happen. Nope. Down we go. And we go to the Long Dong Milotic here. Dragon Dance will make us faster, so... Please survive, and hopefully they don't have any priority. Um, Decidueye comes back in. Awesome. We have triple axle. Please, 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 please. Thank God we hit three times. I've, I've recently had a streak of triple axle only hitting twice, and it's been so, so triggering, especially when you're having that really awesome showcase or replay that you just want to put on the video, and it, you just can't because the, the fucking triple axle screws you over. Um... I definitely think I definitely think Triple Axel is balanced though, but it's just frustrating. You know, I know that it's RNG based and there's 90 goddamn accuracy, but like still, you know. Um, I'm gonna go for the waterfall. Everything it resists and waterfall gives me stab. Plus, I can potentially flinch. So flinch, do the thing. Awesome. There we go. <laughs> We're just gonna need <laughs> two more, two more flinches. Come on, come on, flinch, flinch. Do the thing. Do the thing, Long Dong. <sighs> Long Dong. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Will Triple Axel do more? Let's find out. I'm a scientist. Scientific method, baby. One. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fu Are you for real, man? This is what I mean. You had that one- oh. um, I definitely think we could have won this, too. Even though I fucked up with that by tricking uh, the, um, the Scarf onto the Decidueye. But, oh well. GG well played, bud. Uh, this was a fun game. And I will actually do one more battle before showcasing the salt. So, see you in the next one.
Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video guys, I really do appreciate it. If you're a new viewer, please consider subscribing because I do make some pretty awesome daily content, and if you're a recurring viewer and you just want to help the channel out, be sure to go down there and leave a like and a comment on the video to help it circulate. And yeah, with that said, why not watch another one of my videos, and if not, I'll see you in the next one.